You spoke so highly of Jon Snow, but when he arrives, you hide on a cliff. I didn't take you for a bashful girl. My time whispering in the ears of kings has come to an end. Oh, I doubt that. Give us common folk one taste of power. We're like the lion who tasted man. Nothing is ever so sweet again. I'd hate to die like your son. Clawing at my neck. Foam and bile spilling from my mouth. Eyes blood red. Skin purple. Must have been horrible for you. As a king's guard. As a father. It was horrible enough for me. A shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. Jin Mahraja stamme okay or shafki. Jehales. Me okay or anisikoshi. Your grace. Jon Snow, this is Sir Jorah Mormont. An old friend. I served with your father. He was a great man. You look strong. You found a cure? I wouldn't be here if I hadn't. I return to your service, my queen. If you'll have me. It would be my honor. you to be just. In the name of the mother, I charge you to defend the innocent. Arise, Brienne of Tarth, a knight of the Seven Kingdoms. He is the first to make allies of wildlings and northmen. He was named Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He was named King in the North. Not because of his birthright. He has no birthright. He's a damn bastard. All those hard sons of bitches chose him as their leader because they believe in him. All those things you don't believe in, he faced those things. He fought those things for the good of his people. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his own... You did like boys before. Really? Girls, huh? I hope you won't be offended when I say I never would have guessed. Not at all. But I was never interested in girls either. What then? Nothing. Everybody is interested in something. Not me. When I see what desire does to people, what it's done to this country, I am very glad to have no part in it. Besides, the absence of desire leaves one free to pursue other things, such as... You hear that? That's the mating call of the Northmen. They want to fuck us. Well, I haven't had a good fucking week. I'm ready for one. <laughs> they say every ironborn man is worth a dozen from the mainland. Aye. Do you think they're right? Aye. Aye. We die today, brothers. We die bleeding from a hundred wounds with arrows in our necks and spears in our guts. But our war cries will echo through eternity. 
They will sing about the Battle of Winterfell until the Iron Islands have slipped beneath the waves. Every man, woman and child will know who we were and how long we stood. Agar and Gelmar, Wex and Urzain, Stig and Black Lauren. Ironborn warriors will cry out our names as they leap onto the shores of Seaguard and Faircastle. Aye. Mothers will name their sons for us. Aye. Girls will think of us with their lovers inside them. Aye. And whoever kills that fucking hog blower will stand in front above the shores and bite. What is dead may never die. What is dead may never die. Thought he'd never shut up. It was a good speech. Didn't want to interrupt. I have to piss. We did it. We faced those icy fucks. Looked right into their blue eyes. And here we are. Now, which one of you cowards shit in my pants? <laughs> Please pardon me for a moment. I did what I did for the good of the realm. The realm? Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. But what do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Appointment? That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. He should not have lived this long. Well... Sooner or later, Cersei always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice. That's exactly who I am. And you're a grub in fancy armor who's better at beating little girls than fighting men. Now, I have an appointment with Lord Tyrion. You put your hand on that door, you lose the hand. Didn't know where to put it. I didn't know where to put it. What colour hair? Red. Oh, oh, I like red hair. And her, um... Her, uh, you don't want to know. What, that good? Better. Oh, no. <laughs> so... You didn't know where to put it. Time for the bedding ceremony. There will be no bedding ceremony. You respect for tradition, uncle. Come, everyone. Pick her up and carry her to her wedding bed. Get rid of her gown. She won't be needing it any longer. Ladies, attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. 
did you say? What did you say? I believe we can dispense with the bedding, Your Grace. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. <laughs> A bad joke, Your Grace. Made out of envy of your own royal manhood. Mine is so small, my poor wife won't even know I'm there. Your uncle is clearly quite drunk, Your Grace. I am. Guilty. But... There's only one thing that'll make me happy. And what's that? That's my fucking business. Used to be you couldn't look at me. That was a long time ago. I've seen much worse than you since then. Yes, I've heard. Had you were broken in. Had you were broken in rough. And he got what he deserved. I gave it to him. Oh. Hounds. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I did to you. You weren't sorry then. You were protecting your family. I'm not that person anymore. You still would be, if you hadn't pushed me out of that window. And I would still be Brandon Stark. You're not? No. I'm something else now. You're not angry at me? I'm not angry at anyone. Why didn't you tell them? You won't be able to help us in this fight if I let them murder you first. What about afterwards? How do you know there is an afterwards? You brought a whore into my bed. It wasn't your bed at the time. You chose to spend your days as you always have, bedding harlots and drinking with thieves. You want casterly rock. It is mine, by right. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to casterly rock. Why? Why? You ask that? You are an ill-made, spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. But neither gods nor men will ever compel me to let you turn casterly rock into your whorehouse. His name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. I charge you to bring the King's justice to the false knight Gregor Clegane and all those who shared in his crimes. I denounce him and attaint him. I strip him of all ranks and titles of all lands and holdings and sentence him to death. My lord, this, this is a drastic action. It would be better to wait for King Robert's return. Grand Maester Pycelle. My lord. Send a raven to Castley Rock. Inform Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. He will arrive within the fortnight or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. Jejelana Tyrion. Hoch is this? I think he expected to die. He, he meant to band with the rest of us and 
rise again. Reborn as a dragon, turn his enemies to ash. I slit his throat to make sure that didn't happen. Are you sure you want to do this? It's not what I want. It's what honor demands. And what does honor demand? That I defend my family from those who would harm us. That I defend the North from those who would betray us. All right, then. Get on with it. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? Lord Baelish. My sister asked you a question. Have you nothing to say in your defense? Nothing but this. I did not do it. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. I wish I was the monster you think I am. I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. Leave one wolf alive, and the sheep are never safe. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. We all make our choices. You chose to murder my daughter. You must have felt powerful after you made that choice. Do you feel powerful now? I don't sleep very well. The war is not over. And I promise you, friend, the true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. House Clover! Go, Axios and Mentiosentas! 
Kiloni pilos lue vale tolvio sinetas. Ininini o trikatas. Urne lue tolvio prijotas. Dracaris. Oh, my God.